Christina, now you had your first encounter in 1983? Yes. What happened? I was living in Colorado on a, on a little hill outside the city of uh, a ways, sort of separated from the city. I was stirring a pot of beans in my kitchen one night, about 10, 30 or 11, and all of a sudden I felt compelled to go look out the window. So I walked over there along with my big shepherd collie bodyguard dog, mm -hmm. and we looked out the window, and out at the edge of the lawn, was uh, the st under the street light were these four, which I at first glance thought were kids. And I thought that's strange, because it's late, and it was kind of not the kind of neighborhood where the kids were out running around as we stood there. I began to realize that what I uh, something was off. Uh, the, the movements of these kids were kind of uh, insect-like. They were kind of jer not fluid like we have. They were just different. Um, then I then I saw that they had round head, bald heads, and long spindly arms and, and torsos. And I just got this really scary feeling. I wasn't looking at kids. Uh, my dog, who was very aggressive about her her job dropped her head and tail whined and went under the bed and stayed there. Okay, and she had never done that before, ever, you know. Really? So I knew. Now, what did you think at the time? Did you just kind of? Well, I looked at that and I beat it back to the beans. And I'm standing stirring my beans and so I thought, well, I better go back and check it because if I'll wake up the next morning and be, be nuts trying to figure uh -huh. out what it was. So I ran back and looked for about five seconds. They were still there. I couldn't, it scared me so badly that I just ran back to the beans and... and but you did nothing. You didn't report no, it. You didn't no. tell anybody. My husband came home later and he said, gee, honey, you look like you saw a ghost. And I said, mm, didn't say anything. And really? Something else happened to you again in 1989? 89. I was living in Sedona, taking a nap in the middle of the afternoon. I woke up and I was paralyzed and I was, I was awake, but I couldn't move. And I became aware of a little being standing by my, the head, by my bed right there <laughs> and I wasn't drinking I promise Vicki and um, and I I noticed he was right even with the doorknob so he was no taller than his head came top his head came to the door <laughs> I love this look and um, I don't want to see one of these guys uh, well he really basically ignored me he had kind of a mushroom colored big head and he seemed he a little skinny body and he was wearing I know this sounds crazy at all this but he was wearing this little jump, like tight-fitting jumpsuit, dark jumpsuit. Um, I heard this little sound from him, um, I assumed communication. It was, um, he was ignoring me. I was mad. I'm screaming telepathically. I can't scream, but I'm mentally screaming, go away, leave me alone. And he's totally ignoring me, made me mad. And um, he did this little communication. He was gone. When he was gone, the paralysis was gone. My question is uh, for Raina. She says that when she was in Colorado, she saw a UFO people out there is that true mm -hmm. and then when you were in Sedona you saw them were they similar did they look alike to you no actually they were different they uh, all looked different, different? they, they were different they were different in color did they look like these guys well the little guy and he looked would you kind say of... they were the same height they were one no was the ones in Colorado were a little taller than the ones in, in well, um... did you recognize them do you feel that they've been they're following you in some way? I think they're, yes, I do. <laughs> Sounds nice, you do? You I do. think they're yes. following you? Yeah. Marina, you said that you didn't even really believe much of this stuff until your daughter had an encounter? I mean, Raina, I'm sorry, yeah. I said Marina, I meant Raina. You, your daughter? Had... I just was doing the denial thing. I was just, just ignoring the things that were happening. Then my daughter, my young daughter, came to me and told me something that just, she couldn't have made up because I wasn't talking about it at that point. And uh, I found out later that it was just almost boilerplate to what I've heard from other people and at that point I said I gotta be mommy and go and find out it, it because it, my heart froze when she told me that I'm yeah, mommy how old I'm was she control. when she said something happened to her two two she's four now she was two no kidding so did you take her to a, a doctor or no I went to the doctor I said am you I nuts you know <laughs> is she right or you know what's happening and I was is this something that runs in your family? Yes, or? I believe it does. Stop it. <laughs> no, it runs I talked to my, my brother. I was calling, I talked to my brother, and as we talked, he was remembering things when we were kids in the house, and, and he's certainly not new age to make up this kind of stuff. Is, is that it? something that's, is that unusual? Does it run in families like that? Supposedly? Yes, yes it does. Um, again, we don't know in what reality this happens, and uh, there is a consensus that gets, gets formed, and apparently people open up to this kind of experience. 